If you like kids, I hope you're feeling fit this week because we've got not one, not two, not three, not even four, but five and a half whole islands to explore. So strap up your boots because we're going to take you on a bonza journey across the moors and along the shores that make up this tropical paradise. Welcome to the Isles of Scilly. Feel that, ain't you? They're a rambling band. So we'll start our little walk around St Mary's by going into Hugh Town just down there and see what the pubs are like. I could do with a full Aussie breakfast. Can I have a full Aussie breakfast, please, mate? That one. On the basic Australian breakfast, then, okay, please, mate. Well, oh, basic Australian breakfast for a pint of lager, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, but yeah, Sorry. just after a dingo's breakfast, which is a stretch of leak and a good look around. These are Harry's walls. It's the remains of a castle which was never completed because it was so rubbish. Nice lawn, though, mate. This is Taylor's Island. If you look very carefully, you can see the nest of a man eating buzzard. Four, six, three, five, I'm now at Silly Golf Course. In the olden days, before they built Silly International Airport, the airplanes used to land on the eighth green over there. The golfers used to have to run out of the way, then run back again to grab the wings of the plane before it blew off. There's certainly plenty of birdies to be had. This is an ancient Neolithic burial chamber, and it's where the legendary King Arthur himself was buried. Well, no firm evidence exists nowadays to prove that. Oh, jeez, mate. Who left this ancient Excalibur-type looking sword sticking out of that rock there? That could do some more nasty mischief. So, what we've got here is the site of the famous 1974 silly UFO landings where a bunch of zombies came down from the planet Pluto to capture all the baby squirrels in a bizarre interbreeding program which resulted in the likes of Alvin from the Chipmunks and Tony Wogan's Plastic Surgeon. Either that or it's a Bronze Age settlement, I'm never quite sure which one. This little beauty here is called Inner Sigium Burial Chamber. It's been like this since 2,000 years before Christ. I'm only just getting around to converting it into a Starbucks. Just having a little rest here on the north coast of St Mary's of Pellistry Bay. Over there we have Tolls Island, which has some kelp pits on it. We'll tell you all about kelp pits tomorrow when we visit St Agnes. Coming up to the real rugged stuff now. This is Penninis Head. It's close to my heart because it's wild and rugged. called the Toast Rack. Two slices please mate. That's St Agnes, we're going there tomorrow. That's pretty wild too. Now this is a cave where they found the remains of a mega dingo raptor back in 1962. This little fella's called the Loaded Camel. I wonder why. This stone marks the place where the body of the Admiral of the Fleet, Sir Cloudsley Shovel, was washed ashore. I hope he didn't bump his head on it. What are they, mate? No, oh, they're sea urchins. And you're selling them over there, are you, mate? Yeah, yeah you can go and buy one. All right, how do you eat it, mate? You don't eat them. What do you do with them, then, mate? Just sell them. On they like uh, seafood from the sea, like Cornish pasties? Uh, not really, no, you can eat them, actually, but nobody seems to relish them over here. So if I really wanted to eat one, could I buy one off you and eat it? Oh, it's too late now, because They've been in caustic soda. That cleans all the spines off there, mate. Oh, right, so do you eat the spines? No, no, throw them away. All these poor little urchins have been despined today. Yep. They look pretty here, but I reckon they look prettier on the bottom of the sea floor. They do, they're very common. Here. So, do you also catch Cornish pasties as well? Hey, no. Are they difficult to catch? Yeah. <coughs> you find those in much deeper water. Yep. So, you have, maybe I have to use a dragnet to catch a Cornish pasty. I think so, yeah. Is that why the pasties are so expensive? Because they have to be dragged up from the deeps of the ocean? I think so, yeah. All oh, right. 
The one here in the graveyard next to the little church at Old Town St. Mary's, or next to the grave of a very great man, James Harold Wilson. And do you know who he was, kids? That's right. He was the king of Atlantis, the first man to the center of the sun, and he discovered the unicycle and marshmallows. Just like the terrain, the weather can change at every step. It's getting hot now, but luckily there's a pub over there at the sea, so let's get a bit of next, mate. Who's that? Jeez, mate, my mouth's as dry as a dead dingo's donga. Pint of your best day up, please, mate. There you go, mate. Paint pint of your head at 7.6%. 7.6%? Oh, wicked, mate. Bloody Aussies can't get away from the menu here. Just what the flying doctor ordered. Take a look at that view too. Now unfortunately we can't stay here all day because we've got the garrison and Star Castle to check out before the youth hostel closes. George! George! So we've come to the garrison walls which are the outer defences of Star Castle, which we'll have a look at in a moment. Let's check it out, mate. Look at this, mate. I've stumbled across a room full of the amber nectar. Fancy a quick point, mate. Told you not to do it, didn't I, mate? This is where they used to send the bad guys before they invented Australia. Serves you right, mate. Have you seen any pirates come this way? No, I'm not for a day with One with the big black beard? No. No. If you see them, tell them I'm looking for them. Cheers, mate. Many times pirates have tried to penetrate these outer defences, but to no avail because they're made of fossilised stilton, the hardest material known to man. Also, the king of cheeses. <coughs> Nowadays, these cannons are only fired on Kenny Everett's birthday. Let's see if we can hit the pub. So this is Star Castle, built by Francis Godolphin in the 1500s. It's still the island's main defence today, retaining five nuclear warheads armed and ready at a moment's notice. Get a cup of coffee then. As well, mate. And this is the bell they'd ring when they were under nuclear attack. What a great gate, mate. Not a bad one. So I've managed to find a bit of activity going on here at St Mary's Cricket Pitch. They're just laying it down. I'm going to see how they do it. So now they're skimming it over. If they didn't do this, the ball would fly 17 feet in the air from the slow left hand off spin. Are these special grass seeds? Oh, this is cement thing. I'll see if I can work my name in it so it stays there forever. We better get some work done. Okay, so we're here with the Garrison Gunners FC. Is that right, mate? Uh, no, Garrison Gunners is the uh, Or the Warpack Wanderers FC. They've got the smallest league in the entire known universe of only two teams. They play each other 16 times a year and compete in two cups. I'm lucky, mate. It's no wonder they've got such a small league. They're rubbish! On my head, son! Jeez, man! Jeez, man, I am knacked! St Mary's has got so much to offer. Here's another one of those Neolithic or burial chambers. This one's got a four-star accommodation with the Automobile Association as well. I'm stopping tonight, so we should have some nice disease tonight, mate. See you tomorrow when we're going to go to St Agnes. Good night! Most pleasant lights to keep a bit ahead. Still a bit the motel back home. You ready to go to St. Agnes then? Another little island over there that's got some crazy stuff on it. Let's go and check it out. 